Okay, so Apple has officially released iOS 15.6 RC, the release candidate. This software is pretty much the official final build that Apple will be releasing here in the next couple of days. Now, in this video, I want to talk about this software, my final review, expected release dates, and new features. Now, iOS 15.6 is a special software to me because this ends an era, right? iOS 15.6 could very well be the last major update for three categories of iPhones, and we'll cover that here in just a few seconds. So let's just dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, of course, Apple does not support certain devices with iOS 16, and that includes the iPhone SE first generation. This is the last major update for the iPhone SE first generation. Of course, the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus, this could very well be the last major update for these categories of devices right here as well. And of course, unfortunately, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus does not support iOS 16, so iOS 15.6 six is the last major update for these devices as well. Now, if history is any indication, we'll no longer see any major new features or changes happening to iOS 15 at this point. Apple is now focusing all of their attention to the new software, iOS 16, which is expected to be released in the next two and a half months or so. Now, iOS 15 will most likely receive minor bug fixes, security patches, and minor improvements across the board. But in terms of major new features, I just don't see that happening here. Apple typically just moves forward with the next major update and unfortunately these three categories of iPhones will stay behind so this software is special to me because these devices all brought something to the table the form factor of iPhone SE first generation I always loved I always liked this compact design and I think it's a really really nice device to have also the iPhone 6s this was the first device to bring 3d touch which is no longer available on iPhone so 3d touch you long press the actual screen was a force sensor so this was a new technology brought to the table with iPhone 6s which now died off and also dies off with iPhone 6s unfortunately and the iPhone 7 was a controversial device this was the first device that actually removed the headphone jack from the iPhone remember that guys this is also one of my favorite iPhones of all time the iPhone 7 and 7 plus and this is pretty much the end of an era in my opinion now let's talk about some of the new features that are coming to iOS 15.6 and these devices and I want to start off with the TV application. Apple has added a feature to the TV app here on iOS 15.6 that now allows you to actually go backwards on a live event. So if you're watching baseball, football, whatever it is, if you're watching live sports, you can actually go back on live sports and fast forward and rewind even if the event is happening live. So Apple has added that new feature when you play live sports within the TV application here on iOS 15.6. Now there's also some changes and fixes happening here as well. Some users continue to report that when opening settings on iOS 15.5, the iPhone will prompt you that the storage is full on your iPhone, although there's still storage available for your device. Now Apple continues to tackle this bug on 15.6, and this is one of the things that Apple mentions on their release notes. So if you're encountering that issue, that is something that Apple is looking to address. Now, if we head on over to this iPhone here, Apple has also added a new feature for Apple Cash. So now you have the ability to send and request money directly with your Apple Cash card. So if we go into the Apple Wallet here, let's go into the wallet. And if I click on the cash here, you see that I can now request or send money directly within the Apple Cash card within the wallet of iPhone. There's also new features for podcasts. You now have the ability to manage how many episodes of your favorite podcast are downloaded into the iPhone. I don't know if you guys have encountered the bug where the iPhone would just download every single podcast within the Apple podcast application. Well, you now have the ability to actually manage this directly within the podcast extension in settings and some of the podcasts will automatically be deleted after you watch them. So you'll no longer have the storage all full on your iPhone because you now have control over which podcasts will be downloaded to your devices and the automatic 
deleting of podcasts is now here within iOS 15.6. Now, there's also some fixes to the home application as well, especially with the feature where when you leave or arrive to the house, some of the automations wouldn't trigger or work properly. So overall, bug fixes. There's also some fixes within Safari. Some of the tabs will actually go backwards when you return to an actual website. It's kind of buggy. So a lot of this stuff has been fixed here. But also, one of the most important things here, in my opinion, is battery. Battery life on the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 7 has been incredible within iOS 15.6. And if you want great battery life and you're running iOS 16 beta and you want to downgrade, iOS 15.6 has the best battery life available on any iPhone, especially these older iPhones are running iOS 15.6 and the battery life is incredible. Now, in terms of release dates, Apple released already the RC, which I mentioned, the release candidate. If we go into settings here, head on over into general, we go into about, there is the final build, 19G69, as you can see right there, that is the final build for iOS 15.6 and expected release dates. In my opinion, this will be available to the general public at the latest next week on the 18th. So if you're watching on the 13th, that's at the filming of this video, it could be released as early as Friday the 15th, but I'm expecting this one to be releasing next week on the 18th. So the July 18th or 19th next week, we should see iOS 15.6 available to everyone worldwide. And unfortunately, a lot of these devices will stay behind. But yeah, there's a lot happening with this one as well in terms of performance, battery. It is the best software to be in. Unfortunately, I have to say goodbye to these older iPhones, which paved the way for a lot of great other technologies and new features and changes on the iPhone. Thank you for watching my final review on iOS 15.6. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.